Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. This tutorial discusses using power saving sleep modes on the Arduino. The Atmega 328P microcontroller has a number of sleep modes that can be invoked to reduce power consumption. That's a very useful feature if one wants to prolong operation on a battery. Typically the Arduino main loop is run continuously. However, by using the sleep CPU command, we can enter a predefined sleep mode. A number of wake-up sources can be specified that can be used to wake the Arduino up and resume program execution. Some of the wake-up sources are the external interrupt or the pin change interrupt. We can also have internal events that wake the Arduino up. There is the timer interrupt and we also have the watchdog timer that can be used as a wake-up source. Another interesting uh, wake-up method is to use an, an I2C address match that allows to use the Arduino as a, a slave device that could be addressed by a second Arduino that would be the master in this case. And whenever the uh, address of the slave Arduino comes up on the I2C bus, then the Arduino could be woken up and it could resume its uh, program execution. Here we see a table from the Atmega 328P datasheet, which can be downloaded from the, from the atmel.com website. And this table shows us an overview over the different sleep modes. There are six sleep modes in total. And they are listed here against the active clock domains, oscillators, and wake-up sources that are uh, involved or possible for each of these sleep modes. So you see there is a whole variety of combinations possible. When it comes to the clock domains, the uh, Atmega microcontroller has a number of clock sources and all of them draw some power. And so depending on what wake up features we want, we need to activate uh, some of these clock domains or of these oscillators in order to have the wake up sources available. So anything that needs to be woken up via a timer, uh, that of course needs some active uh, clock domains and oscillators. Depending on what's selected here as sleep mode, a different level of power savings can be achieved. Higher level wake up sources generally rely on a more power intensive sleep mode because uh, more features need to be active during the sleep mode. In this tutorial we will use the power down mode which you can see here has the smallest number of wake up sources and it is um, the most power saving uh, sleep mode that is available on the Arduino. As wake-up sources we have the external interrupts on pin 2 and 3 and we also have the pin change interrupts that can be caused by all pins of the Arduino. Then we have the um, I2C bus address match uh, wake-up source and we also have the watchdog timer wake-up source available in this power down mode. However, timed wake-up mechanisms are not possible with the power down sleep mode. In this demonstration of the power down sleep mode, we will run the Arduino using a lab power supply that is set to 5 volts. So in this circuit, that's this box here. So we connect directly the 5 volts to the 5 volts uh, output pin of the Arduino board. And while we're doing uh, this more on the next slide, um, and then the, uh, the uh, multimeter that is set uh, to current measurement will be connected between the ground of the power supply and the Arduino ground. So we're essentially doing a low side uh, current measurement of the supply current that goes into the Arduino Uno board. We will use the external interrupt zero uh, as wake up source and in the uh, video that you will soon see about this power down mode, I will simply connect a wire between pin two and the ground pin on this side of the Arduino board. We will see in this experiment that the Arduino board draws about 27 milliamps when it is when the Arduino is in power down mode, while when the microcontroller is powered up, we will see 
a current of about 40 milliamps flowing into the Arduino Uno board. The remaining 27 milliamps after powering down the Atmega chip goes into the voltage regulators and the Atmega chip that takes care of the communication with the USB board. So if one wants to fully take advantage of the power savings of the power down mode, one would have to uh, build a separate uh, circuit that only uses the Atmega uh, 328P chip but doesn't have all the overhead that is added on the Arduino Uno board. Nonetheless, this represents uh, about a 30% power savings. So if you would run the board on a battery, you could expect about 50% longer operating times before you have to replace the batteries. Let's have a quick look at the current circuit diagram of the Arduino Uno board. This here is downloaded from the um, Arduino CC website. So if you want it in higher resolution, I recommend to go there directly. Uh, we see here the main units that draw power that are on the board. Of course, we have the Atmega 328P, a main microcontroller. And then we have another microcontroller that deals with the uh, USB interface. Then we have two voltage regulators, one for 3.3 volts. And this one here is the main regulator for five volts. So this here allows you to connect a nine volt battery, for example, and still run the five volts at mega chip. Then we also have the power on LED. And of course there are the two LEDs that show us that uh, if communication occurs with the USB interface, the RX and TX LEDs. So when we go into sleep mode, then we only affect the Atmega 328P and so on. This, all this other stuff is still running. Now, what I showed you earlier uh, on, the, uh, on the slide that uh, showed the circuit, we go around this voltage regulator by going directly into the 5 volts supply network of the Arduino board. With this, we directly power the Atmega and the USB interface chip and unfortunately also the 3.3 volts voltage regulator and the power on LED. These three things, they mostly account for the 27 milliamps that we will be seeing on the uh, multimeter uh, during the demonstration. A little bit of that of course still goes into the Atmega because even if it is in power down mode it will draw a very small current. But the bulk of this current goes into these things. A word of warning regarding connecting power directly to the uh, 5 volts network on the Arduino Uno board. If you do that, you circumvent the voltage regulator and you connect essentially directly to the uh, ICs that are on the board. This means that the power source needs to really be precisely adjusted to 5 volts. If you go higher than about 5.5 volts, um, these chips here are in danger to get damaged. Now it is time to look at the Arduino sketch. Uh, this one is based on a page on the Arduino Playground. First we include the AVR sleep library. This library contains all the methods that we need to control the sleep modes. Then we go into the setup function. Uh, we start out by activating the uh, serial communication so we can print out something on the serial monitor. Then we enable the onboard LED by setting pin 13 as an output. We write it low, so this uh, turns the LED off. And we also enable pin 2 as input. This is the pin that is used for the interrupt to call an end to the sleep mode. And this one here we write high, and this activates the internal pull-up resistor. That guarantees that we have 5 volts on this pin unless we connect it to ground to call the interrupt. Then we have here the uh, main loop. Here we just wait five seconds and then we put the Arduino to sleep. These are the five seconds during which you will see uh, 40 milliamps on the multimeter in the um, demonstration. While in sleep, until the interrupt is uh, called by connecting pin 2 to ground, we will see 27 milliamps on the uh, multimeter. Here is the sleep setup function that is called here. And first we enable sleep and then we attach the interrupt to pin 2. So that's interrupt number 0 and pin interrupt is the interrupt service routine and the interrupt is called when the pin is low. So that means if we connect it to ground then we get the interrupt. Then we set the sleep mode 
uh, in this example we use the power down sleep mode so there are similar words that you can put in here to call the other sleep modes then we turn the LED off that means that we're going to sleep now and then we actually put the uh, chip to sleep this is done with the sleep CPU command and this is where the execution of the main loop stops essentially until the interrupt is called to wake it up again if that happens then we print just woke up on the serial monitor so we will see that in parallel to the LED blinking on the uh, board and uh, we will also turn on the LED when the five second wake up occurs now down here we have the interrupt service routine called pin interrupt which is attached here to the uh, interrupt and essentially we wouldn't have to do anything in here you can try that by commenting these two commands out and um, run the sketch but what you will see is, is that sometimes you will get several interrupt calls when you push in the wire into the ground uh, header or if you pull it out so we need to do something to debounce the mechanism and this is effectively done by putting detach interrupt into the interrupt service routine if you do that you call the interrupt and then immediately you detach it so it cannot be called a second time and it can only be activated again up here in the uh, sleep setup function and so that takes care of the debouncing however if you put the detach interrupt method into the interrupt service routine then you create a situation where if the interrupt is called between attaching the interrupt and putting the device to sleep then at that point you would detach the interrupt again right first attach it then immediately detach it if somebody activates the interrupt at that moment and then we would put the device to sleep but at that point then of course we wouldn't have the interrupt attached anymore and so we could not wake it up and the only way out of this would be a reset by pushing the reset button of the Arduino Uno board so this can be cured by putting sleep disable before the detach interrupt into the interrupt service routine so for, the, for those cases where the interrupt would be called between attaching and sleeping we would actually disable the sleep function and so we would go through the sleep command here and nothing would happen and so we would actually have to do the main loop a second time call the sleep set the setup function a second time and then we would properly attach the interrupt and then we would uh, finally put the device to sleep so and at that point of course we could wake it up again okay now it's time to put this sketch into action so what we will do now is we will observe what's happening on the amp meter on the multimeter uh, while we go into sleep and wake up and at the same time we will see in parallel what's happening on the serial monitor okay now it's 27 milliamps and here we wake up for five seconds now it goes back to sleep and we wake it up one more time 42 milliamps okay and back to sleep alright another successful demonstration and this concludes our tutorial using power saving sleep modes on the Arduino thanks for watching